It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. What's going on guys? I hope everyone is having a wonderful weekend. Today is Saturday, just getting my day started now. Um, I'm gonna title this video something like full day of eating or grocery haul, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to title it, but it's gonna be surrounding food because obviously we all know that 70 to 80% 80, 70 to 80% of your fitness progress is really determined on what you're putting in your face. So we should care about what we eat, right? Um, so besides that, I'm gonna go do some morning cardio and abs. And I also wanna say that I'm not sure when I'm gonna post this video. So if I post this tomorrow morning, which is Sunday, voting will still be open for the bodybuilder.com spokesmodel search. And I'll have that link right here again and in the description. And if I could have your vote, that would really mean the world to me. Um, I know I've been hammering you guys with that information this week, but it's something that means a lot to me. And um, having your support would really mean a lot in that competition. Besides that, let's go do this cardio and get the day started. Guys, I've said this in other videos, but I'll say it again. Abs, if you hit them like twice a week for like 15 to 20 minutes with very minimal rest, just pretty much going as hard as you can, almost like a cardiovascular endurance exercise in a way. But if you hit your abs like that, I mean, 40 minutes to an hour a week and you're A-OK. -okay. Um, I just make sure I hit my obliques, my lower abs, my upper abs, and then I call it. So let's go do it. Oh yes. Get those micros. Damn dude. It's like a forest over here. Yeah. Oh, there's where I left my pick. Oh my god, I've been missing this. Okay, so it's like noon and I'm kind of breaking my fast. I usually don't eat until later on the weekends, I don't know why. But uh, it kind of just works out that way. Sometimes I sleep in and then I'll do cardio and abs, which you just saw. So anyways, it's noon and I got two of the turkey, reduced fat turkey bacon sandwiches on English muffins from Starbucks. I think they're 230 calories each. And then I got an iced coffee and put a little half and half in there. So it's around 500 calories or so to get my day started. Oh no, it's upside down. Double turkey on wheat bread, no cheese, banana peppers, pretty much all the veggies except spinach and olives and pickles. And then there's tzatziki sauce. I saw it's new, so I wanted to try it. And I think that's about it. I've been going crazy cleaning all around my apartment today. Um, so that tzatziki sauce was really good on that sub I just had, I showed you. Um, I'm gonna be putting the calorie counts probably up here in the video just so you can see the total and like the carbs, proteins, fats that I have throughout the day. I feel like that's easier and you guys can constantly just see where I'm at. Um, I'll probably continue doing that in future uh, full day of eating videos, but I wanna say quickly, you're probably wondering, Dude, like how do you know the calorie count and whatnot of what you get when you go out to eat? So Subway's a good example. On their website, they have the nutrition information. 
and what I usually do is I get pretty much about the same thing every time I go there. It's usually like turkey or the, the chicken. And then what you can do is go on the website and add up <clears throat> the calories and whatnot of what was in your sandwich. And then you can create a food on MyFitnessPal on the app. You can create a food. I actually think you have to do it on the computer. I'm not sure. You might be able to create one on the app. But either way, I will create that sandwich. It'll be under My Foods. And that way, when I go and get that sub again, I can select that and just add it in my fitness pal. It's, it's pretty easy. Um, so yeah, this initial step is kind of annoying. Uh, like, who wants to go on a website and add up the nutrition information? But if you know that you only have to do it like one time, it's not a big deal. I do the same thing with Chipotle and uh, some other restaurants. But again, like I said with my fitness pal, so many restaurants have their food on there. So... This is few and far between for me. I'm not always like creating foods and wasting time doing like data entry on the app. So that's that. Hold the phone. The lonely stone, I must have thrown a dollar low. He's on the move, can't seem to shake the shade. Within the dreams, he's. Okay, guys, on that pre workout meal life, Combat Crunch Bar. What is it? Chocolate chip cookie dough. I'm gonna put this in the microwave for like. 20 seconds to make it soft and I'm gonna put peanut butter on top of it and then I'm also gonna have one of these bananas for the potassium and the carbs for energy for my workout what's slower a microwave minute or a treadmill minute comment below dude Brian why are you having so much peanut butter that's not good for you guess what it's leg day so Oh, wow. Oh, my God. One bite. <laughs> Success hit a PR as you guys saw I got 425 low bar squat for three reps and then before that I got 405 for four reps I've literally never completed a Squat with four plates on each side. So today was a huge success when it comes to legs now Sticking with the theme of this video. I didn't really Make that clip of my workout super long obviously because that's not this video. So let's get back to the nutrition aspect I'm gonna have some synthesis carbs protein and fats in here guys never under never underestimate the importance of post-workout nutrition and pre-workout nutrition I would say those windows are probably the most important in your day to take in the right types of food high quality carbohydrates and protein probably simple carbs after your workout I would say and honestly before I mean if you're gonna t be taking in like simple carbs high glycemic carbohydrates I would take them in probably before and after your workout um, people always talk about getting in a protein shake after your workout but getting carbs is just as important if not more um, so that's what this is gonna be I'm gonna have probably like three scoops of this it's gonna be like 600 calories and I'm also gonna have my creatine and the calorie counts what up there or right there I don't know where it is but I haven't even been tracking today. I'm going to add it all up now. I mean, obviously you guys are seeing it. I don't know what it is yet, but I'm going to add all that up and then I'll see where I'm at for the day right now. It is 645 and then based on where I'm at, I will kind of tailor the rest of my eating for the rest of the day so I can hit, hit my macros. We do not mess around here. Oh, I'm so full. So guys, this is my fitness pal. I just edited my goals to from 4,000 calories a day, which I was failing at to begin with, down to 3,000 calories a day. And I adjusted my carbohydrate percentage down 5% and my protein up 5%. Going for 225 grams of protein, 83 grams of fat a day, 
and 340 grams of carbohydrates. Boom! No more bulking for now. So where's my food? Guys, here's the deal. I went over my fats. Part of the reason, and it's probably bad that I wasn't tracking throughout the day because I would have realized that I was coming up too close on my fats. Uh, like I said, I cut my calories down to 3,000. Right now, with what I've eaten so far and showed you, I'm at 2,585. And if you turn my fitness pal to the side, oh my god, focus please. At the bottom, you can see now I have to read this backwards, so bear with me. Uh, actually, I can probably, yeah, so you can see I went, I'm negative 10 on the fats, and then I have, what, 84 more left of carbs to eat, and then I have 36 left of protein. So I'm probably going to get all of that from some grilled chicken that's dripping all over the floor. That's great. Some grilled chicken and some white rice that I made this week because the white rice is obviously all simple carbohydrates. The chicken is all protein and maybe a little bit of fat, but it won't add much fat. So yeah, that'll get me close to my macro amount, 3,000 calories for the day. I will show you what that looks like before I eat it. Finished product, my YouTube friends. Here is the seasoning that I used on the chicken, and I mixed some in the rice as well. So this is about six ounces of chicken is my guesstimation. I didn't weigh it out. Didn't weigh out the rice either, but for, after tracking for so many years, you, you kind of have a, a good gauge of, you know, <laughs> what you're eating and how much. So I'm just going to bring up my fitness pal one more time and scroll down and show my final counts for the day. I went over 130 calories. I went over on fats, went over on protein, and I'm under on carbs. Not perfect, but you want to know what? In my eyes, this is decent. Um, so, yeah. Guys, I've put a lot of training in all of my other videos. I really hope you enjoyed this one and kind of have an insight into, you know, kind of what it takes to eat well and make progress. My diet was, is pretty simple today, and it usually remains pretty simple. I do have bad food. I didn't really have a lot of bad food today. But um, I'm going to keep making these. Let me know if you enjoyed it. And also leave some recommendations for other videos that you want to see. Maybe you want some more insight into something else that I do. I'll be happy to make that video. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you liked it as well. And I love you guys. I'm very grateful for you guys, and I'll see you in the next one.